If you want to come to the UK and set up an innovative business, then please make sure that you watch this video to the end, okay? hi guys good evening and welcome back to my channel my name is scholastica and if you're new to my channel you are highly welcome if you're already part of the family thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and thank you so so much for subscribing to my channel thank you so much i really do appreciate all the love and care that i'm getting from you all thank you guys so much thank you so guys in today's video i'm going to give you all the information you need and also who can apply for a startup visa so let's jump right into it without wasting much of your time okay so guys you can apply for a startup visa if you want to set up an innovative business here in the uk and it must be something that is different from anything else on the market okay or you want to or or you meet the other eligibility requirements okay you must also be endorsed by an authorized body that's either a uk higher education institution or a business organization with a history of so, of supporting uk entrepreneurs okay and you must be able to show that your business idea is one a new idea because you cannot join in a business that is already trading okay Two, innovative, because you must have an original business idea, which is different from anything else on the market. Okay. Three, the idea must be achievable. It must be, it, it must have potential for growth. And you can stay for two years if you either come to the UK on a startup visa or switch to this visa from another visa while in the UK. Okay. And if you want to stay longer in the UK, you cannot apply to extend this visa. Instead, you may be able to switch to an innovator's visa. That's if you set up a business while on a startup visa and while on a startup visa and one, your endorsing body assessed and agreed agreed it two it is active trading and sustainable and three you have you have and three you have day-to-day -day involvement in it okay and please bear in mind that your visa may be cut short if your endorsement is withdrawn by the endorsing body okay so if you want to stay longer you must reapply with a new endorsement before your current visa expires and you can only stay for a total of two years if even if you are granted a new visa with a new endorsement all right and for this type of visa you must apply online and how you apply depends on whether you are outside the uk and you are coming to the uk or you are inside the UK and you are switching from a different visa. And as part of your application, you will need to prove your identity and provide your documents. All right. You may need to allow extra time if you need an appointment to do this. And you will find out if you need one when you start your applications. Okay. And once you've applied online, proved your identity and provided your documents, you will usually get a decision on your visa within three weeks if you are outside the UK or eight weeks if you are inside the UK. And if you need to go for an appointment, you may be able to pay for a faster decision. And how you do this depends on whether you are outside the UK or inside the UK. So guys, let's look at the fees, the mula. How much you pay for a startup visa depends on your situation and where you apply from. So the amount you will pay will be displayed on my screen. Okay, please guys, you must pay the visa fee for each person that applies at the same time as you, as you or applies later to join you in the UK. For example, your family member. Okay. You will also have to pay the healthcare surcharge as part of your applications. All right. 
if you are applying to if you are applying to switch in the uk you will also need to have your biometric information taken and then and the good thing is that there is no fee for this okay and with a startup visa you can bring your partner and your children with you as your dependents that's if they are eligible okay you can work in another job as well as working for your business and also you can travel abroad and return in the uk return to the uk okay you can also switch to this visa from some other visa categories and please guys you cannot apply for most benefits that's public funds or the state pension you cannot work as a professional sports person for example a sports coach and also you cannot settle in the uk on this visa okay though if your application is successful you will get a full list of what you can and cannot do with a startup visa all right and before you apply you need to have your business or business idea assessed by an endorsing body okay and they will provide you with an endorsement letter if your business is achievable okay you must also be at least 18 years old you must meet the english language requirements okay and also you must be able to prove that you have enough personal savings to support yourself while you are in the uk and you need to have had at least 1270 pounds in your bank account for at for 28 consecutive days before you apply or if you have been in the uk for less than a year and applying to switch to this visa okay and you will usually need to prove your knowledge of english of of english language when you apply unless you did this in a previous successful visa application and you must prove you can read write speak and understand english to a level b2 or on the common european framework of reference for language skills okay and you can prove your knowledge of english by one passing a secure english language test from an approved provider okay Two, having a GCSE A-level Scottish National Qualification Level 4 or 5. Three, by having a degree level academic qualification that was, uh, that was taught in English. That's if you studied abroad and you will need to apply for confirmation through ECCTIS that your qualification is equivalent to a UK bachelor's degree, master's degree or PhD. Okay, and you do not need to prove your knowledge of English if you are a national of one of the following countries listed on my screen and when you apply you need to provide an endorsement letter to show that an endorsing body has assessed your business okay you also need to provide a valid passport or other document that shows your identity and nationality okay a bank statement showing you've had at least 1270 pounds in savings in your bank account for 28 consecutive days before you apply you need to prove that you meet the english language requirements and your tuberculosis test results if you are from a country where you have to take the test okay and please if your documents are not in english or welsh you also need to provide a certified translations okay you will need a blank page in your passport for your visa if you are from outside the eu switzerland norway or ireland or you are from the eu switzerland norway ireland but do not have a biometric passport with a chip in it okay and you may need to provide additional document depending on your circumstances and as part of your application you will need to prove your identity and how you do this depends on where you are from and what type of passport you have okay so you will either have your fingerprints and photograph taken at a visa application center or use the uk immigration id check app to scan your identity documents you will also create or sign into your uk visa and immigration account and you will be told what you need to do when you apply all right and if you do need an appointment the center may need to keep your passports and documents while they process your applications 
okay and you may have to travel to get your near get to your nearest visa application center for example if you're in nigeria you will need to travel to lagos or abuja for your appointments so once you have started your application you can save your form and complete it later and once you are ready to continue with your application just sign into your account using the link from your sign up email okay and once you've applied online proved your identity and provided your documents your you will usually get a decision within three weeks and you will be contacted if your application will take longer for example if you're applying with a family member who needs an appointment but you do not or if your supporting documents need to be verified or if you need to attend an interview because of your personal circumstances for example if you have a criminal conviction and please if you need to change something in your application after uh, after you've sent it please contact uk visa and immigration immediately all right and you can ask them to cancel your application but you will only get your fee refunded if uk visa and immigration has not yet started processing your applications okay and finally you will get an email or a letter containing the decision on your application and it will explain what you need to do next so my lovely people if you are planning or in the process of coming to the uk to start up an innovative business oh my goodness i wish you success in your application and by the special grace of god you your application will be approved okay thank you so much for watching and please if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please i beg you please show me some love by subscribing to my channel okay it's free to subscribe all right and if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button down below if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to email me my email will be in the description box below all right thank you all so so much for watching and please do have a wonderful day okay <laughs> Now if I wrote you